Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on the classification of opioids. Introduction Opioids are central to anesthetic practice and has various important applications. Examples include to attenuate autonomic responses to noxious stimulation, regional anesthesia, post-operative pain relief, patient control analgesia, acute or chronic pain management, etc. Important Definitions Opium is an extract of the juice of the poppy pepperver somniferum that contains morphine and other related alkaloids. This term is derived from the Greek word opioin, which refers to poppy juice. Opiate is defined as any drug that is derived from the opium poppy, pepperver somniferum. Based on this definition, morphine and codeine phosphate are classified as opiates, whereas diamorphine is not. Opioid refers to any substance, whether endogenous or synthetic, that produces at least some agonist or morphine-like effects at opioid receptors. Narcotic analgesic is an old term for opioids. Narcotic refers to a drug's ability to induce sleep. The term narcotic has been used inappropriately by some to refer generically to drugs of abuse. Pain is defined as an unpleasant sensory and emotional experience associated with actual or potential tissue damage or described in terms of such damage as defined by the IASP. Multimodal analgesia, also known as balanced analgesia, refers to the use of combinations of drugs that act by different mechanisms or at different sites within the pain pathway. Pain perception involves sensory, emotional and cognitive processes of which all needs to be addressed when managing pain. Combinations of different analgesics may be additive or synergistic in their mode of action, causing those sparing effects and a reduction in side effects. Repeated and effective pain assessment is paramount in achieving optimal pain management. Opioids can be classified based on their actions at opioid receptors. Full agonists. These drugs cause the maximal possible effect when activating their receptors. Examples include morphine, morphine 6-glucuronide, pethidine, sufentanil, fentanyl, alfentanil, remifentanil, codeine, hydromorphone, oxymorphone, oxycodone, hydrocodone, propoxyphene, methadone, tramadol, and diamorphine. Mixed agonists and antagonists. These drugs activate their receptor but cause only a partial or reduced effect. Examples include pentazosin, butorphanol, nalbufin, buprenorphine, nalorphine, remazosin, desosin, and meptazinol. Opioid antagonists are drugs that have a high affinity for opioid receptors but do not activate it and causes no opioid effects. Examples include naloxone, naltrexone, nalmifin, methyl naltrexone bromide, alvimopan, naloxagol. Opioids can be classified based on synthesis processes. Natural opioids such as morphine and codeine are found in the opium poppy. Semi-synthetic opioids are derived from simple modifications of morphine. For example, codeine is derived from the substitution of a methyl group for the hydroxyl group on carbon tree of the morphine molecule. Diacetyl morphine, also known as heroin, is derived from the substitution of acetyl groups on carbons 3 and 6 of the morphine molecule. Other examples of semi-synthetic opioids include buprenorphine, atorphine, hydromorphone, oxycodone, and oxymorphone. Synthetic opioids contains the phenanthrene nucleus of morphine and is manufactured by chemical synthesis rather than modification of morphine. Examples of synthetic opioids include fentanyl, sufentanyl, alfentanyl, remifentanyl, loperamide, methadone, methadone, dextropropoxyphene, tramadol, dihydrocodine, nalbufin, pentazosin, meptazinol, atorphine, sabranopadol, dipipanon, etc. Opioids can be classified based on structure. Examples of phenanthrines include morphine, codeine, diamorphine, hydromorphone, dihydrocodine, naloxone, 6-O-acetylmorphine, and oxycodone. 
Examples of phenylpiperidines include alfentanil, fentanyl, sulfentanil, remifentanil, and pethidine. Characteristics of phenylpiperidines These drugs are potent MOP receptor agonists. They have moderate to high lipid solubility, resulting in good diffusion through membranes. Potency and time to reach the effect site vary. They do not cause histamine release. Except for remifentanil, all other phenylpiperidines may cause post-operative respiratory depression as a result of secondary peaks in plasma concentrations due to release from body stores if large doses have been infused intraoperatively. Except for remifentanil, which is metabolized by non-specific tissue and plasma esterases, fentanyl, alfentanil, and sulfentanil are metabolized mainly in the liver to inactive metabolites. Very little is excreted unchanged in the urine. Examples of diphenylpropylamines include methadone and dextropropoxyphene. Other opioids include tramadol, which does not fit in the standard opioid structural classes, benzomorphans such as pentazosin, oripervine derivatives such as etorphine and buprenorphin, morphinan derivatives such as levorphanol and butorphanol. Special notes. For most opioids, it is usually the levorotatory stereoisomer that is the active compound. Structural modifications of opioids alters agonist activity and physical chemical properties such as lipid solubility. For example, the presence of a quaternary nitrogen significantly reduces potency as a result of decreased CNS penetration. Antagonism of analgesia may be produced if the methyl group on the nitrogen is changed. For morphine, potency is reduced by further additions at the C3OH group. Potency is increased by hydroxylation of the C3-phenol, oxidation of the C6, such as in hydromorphone, hydroxylation of C14, or reduction of the double bond at C7 or C8. For opioid receptor antagonism, a short-chain alkyl substitution is present in mixed agonist antagonists. Hydroxylation or bromination of C14 produces full antagonists. Removal or substitution of the methyl group reduces agonist activity. Opioids can be classified based on their potency. This is based on the plasma concentrations at which they exert their effects. Measured by C50 or the plasma concentration causing a 50% effect. Examples of strong opioids include fentanyl, sufentanyl, alfentanyl, remifentanyl, etorphine, etc. Examples of intermediate strength opioids include morphine, methadone, oxycodone, hydromorphone, buprenorphine. Examples of weak opioids include codeine, tramadol, dextropropoxyphene, hydrocodone, etc. Regardless of potency, all opioids can potentially cause life-threatening adverse effects, such as sedation, respiratory depression, hypotension, and bradycardia. The choice of opioids based on potency during anesthesia. Typically, strong opioids are used intraoperatively in high doses during general anesthesia. Intermediate strength opioids are typically used postoperatively to treat post-op pain. These are my references. Thank you.